Hi, my name is Nancy and welcome to Kids Corner. Uh, Jovi couldn't be with us today, so I told her I was gonna go ahead. Um, today we celebrate Veterans Day. Uh, Veterans Day is a day that we honor all the men and women who have served in the military and who have fought to defend our freedom. Before we continue, I want to share with you something that my husband's father, who was 96, received because he is a veteran who was honored for his service in the Navy. And it says, a veteran is someone who at one point in his or her life wrote a blank check payable to the United States of America for an amount up to and including his or her life. Now, most of you probably don't know what a check is for because we don't use that many, but a check is a form of money where you write who you're giving the money to and you write the amount and you sign it. For example, if I'm writing a check to Jovi, then I will put to Jovi Roberson $25 and I would sign it. Well, what this is saying is that a veteran is someone who left that amount blank, meaning there is an unlimited amount that they give to their country, which could also include their life. And then he got this certificate and it says, in honor of your military service to our country, this certificate is awarded to Joseph E. Knight. And that's what that looks like and I'm sure many other people received this honor as well so our scripture we have two scriptures for today one is from 1st Corinthians 7 23 you were bought at a price do not become slaves of men and the other one is John 8 36 so if the Son sets you free you will be free indeed you know we enjoy a lot of freedoms. We have the freedom to come to church and worship. We're free to choose what we want to be when we grow up. We can choose where we want to live. We're free to choose most of the things that affect our daily lives. But freedom isn't free. That's right. Someone had to pay the price for us to have those freedoms we enjoy. Some of these people served in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard, and many of them fought in wars, and some may have been wounded. There were probably some people, maybe some of you that are listening, who have loved ones who gave their lives for our freedoms. And all of these are the ones that we honor today for Veterans Day. We have a lot of freedoms, but our greatest freedom is that we have freedom through Christ Jesus. The Bible teaches us that the penalty for sin is death, but you and I have been set free from this penalty. We have been set free because Jesus paid the penalty. The Bible tells us that Jesus died to set us free from the penalty of sin. Instead of death, we have been given eternal life. And that freedom was not free. Jesus paid that price. So today let's remember to stop and thank God for those people that paid the price for our freedom. And let us remember to thank God for Jesus who has set us free from the penalty of sin because he was willing to pay the price. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the freedom that we enjoy in our country. We are thankful for those who paid the price for that freedom, but even more important, we thank you for the freedom we have because Jesus was willing to pay the penalty for our sin. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, and we will see you next Friday.